Hi, I'm Brian Ierson. Welcome to another little tutorial. Today we're going to talk about creating a um, PowerPoint library. And to do this, we're going to utilize the clipboard and copying and pasting. So when we create things, instead of having to store them in files, they're on networks and they're here and they're there, which can be very, um, let's just say, tedious to go ahead and find and reutilize. We're going to create a library file that we can refer to and pull all that content which we use on a regular basis. So to begin with, I've created this little graphic and let's say that I'm quite happy with the way this looks and I'm, I'm potentially going to use this in several other projects. So to begin with, I'm going to select my object that I've created, and I'm going to copy it. But before I do that, I want to come up onto the Home tab. The very first group of commands here is called the Clipboard, and you'll see there's this little tiny weird looking icon in the corner. If we click on that, it's the Dialog Launcher, and that opens the Clipboard. Now most of us, when we open this up, our first and only reaction is to close it because we don't understand what it's for. Well, let's click on this again. We're going to have this open. We have this object selected and we're going to go ahead and copy it. So you can right click, copy, control C, copy, however you want to copy. And you can see you're going to now have that copy right there. You can store up to 24 different copies inside of the clipboard. So if I copy the text, and I'm just going to do a quick control C on that, you can see that I now have the text also. All right, now here's where the magic begins. We're going to switch over to the View tab. And in the window group of commands, you will see a switch window. And I'm going to switch to another file that I'm currently building for my library. So you can see here I have a slide that has doors and windows in case I do any architectural drawings. Some trees and a little forest section there again in case I do some architectural drawings. I have one which is just logos and I have another one which is just images that I use on a regular basis. So let's say that I'm going to come to my images. Uh, not my images, sorry, but my logos. Back to the Home tab. Back to the Clipboard group. I'm going to click and expand that clipboard. I'm going to locate the object I want. I'm going to click on it and paste it in there. Now I know that this is going to be a little bit odd size because it's, this is a text box, so I'm going to just highlight my text, change the size down to something a little bit more reasonable, scale this so that I can kind of recreate the same look and feel that I had before, and then I can just move this and add it as another object. When I'm done copying all these things, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clear that clipboard and then I can close it out of the way. I can now quickly save my file with a quick control S to update that. And now I have that whenever I need. So our next tutorial, we're going to talk about how you're going to build this library and utilize it. All right. So until then, take care once again. Have a wonderful afternoon or day. If you like what we're presenting, please go ahead and subscribe to us, uh, follow us, and we'll be presenting videos every week. So stay tuned for next week's video.